Over the past year or so, um, the gap between manufacturing and architectures has significantly decreased. Um, we see more and more that, that people are, are having to share information um, that they create in either manufacturing package or an architectural package um, in, in you know, sort of the other industry. So what I'm looking at today is how to take a, a model that has been created in a manufacturing product, Fusion 360, um, and take it into an architecture package, software package, uh, Revit. So as you see over here, we've got a, a bike frame which has been created in Fusion 360, um, and we're going to take it into Revit. So the first thing is to say is that, well, you know, this is a cloud-based uh, software package, and when I do save something, it saves it automatically into the cloud, into the cloud. So over here, you can see that it's been saved into the cloud. I'm here now in my uh, Fusion uh, team, and uh, what I do with this bike frame now is I download it into a Inventor file. So exporting it, um, you'll see there's quite a few different uh, file formats that it can export to. We're going to do it into Inventor 2016. What it does now, it processes it in the cloud, and then I'll get an email, which then I can go and download the Inventor file from. After receiving the email and downloading it, then I can go into AutoCAD, and I can insert or import it into AutoCAD uh, for further processing. So under my import, other formats, You'll see that AutoCAD is also very good at importing uh, different file formats. I mean, here you see CATIA version 4 and 5, FBX, uh, MicroStation, NX, Pro Engineer, SolidWorks. So there's quite a wide range of uh, um, files that you can download or can import into AutoCAD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bike frame and, uh, and just open that up. Okay, just gives me a little message. Inventor files are imported as non-associative solid bodies. Um, so it doesn't have a live link to the files. Um, if I did want it to have a live link to the files, I could use a view base um, command. And what that does is if the Inventor file is updated um, in Inventor, the, the 2D uh, images that I, I generate from, from, in, from Inventor will automatically update as well. Once the import is done, um, we can just take a look at the file and it actually looks, looks pretty great. Okay, so we can now go save the file, and then I'm going to upload it back into my A360. So I've done that already. You can see the mountain bike over there. But now what I need to do is I need to let my colleague know that the, the, the model is ready for him. It's important to Revit and use it in his design for uh, his presentation. So to do that, uh, we can go and share this. And on the share page over here, um, I'm able then to go and either email him, embed it uh, in a link somewhere, or copy the link and email it to him as well. So I'm going to email him, send link to my colleague Paul, and uh, I'm going to give you a little personal message. Hey Paul, let's go mountain biking this week. Okay, so I can also allow or disallow him to uh, uh, download from their computer, and also you can put a password on. So this is a bit of a, you know, a bit sensitive. You can put a password on you as well. Okay, and now I'm going to go send this email off to him. <clears throat> and that's it. Um, well, that's nearly it. Uh, I'm just going to open up my email, and then I'm going to go and, and send the email to him. So, so there's basically the um, the the, the workflow that you need to, to get a, a file from Fusion 360 uh, with all its components. I mean, the servicing came in quite nicely as well um, into a file for much of So the next blog is, is Paul is going to do it and he's going to show us how we import it and then just show you some of the functionality in, in Escape and how, how pretty we can actually make um, all these files look. Thank you very much for listening.